Hi, it's me again, Christoph from Logo Books. This week I'm going to talk about, well, logo modernism. I don't think that this book needs an introduction any longer. I think that everybody knows the book by now, but I am going to make a video of it anyway because I think that there are a lot of people that might not have this book, so it can be very interesting for those people to take a look at this beautiful book. So let's start immediately with what we can find in it. So let me first remove the sleeve and what we can find on the sleeve, well the front, you already saw it, it's a very nice color, some reddish color, it has a glossy finishing, paper is also very nice, so it's very well crafted. On the spine here you see the title and on the back we just get a little bit of information on what content will be found in the book and a big picture. When we take a look at the inside of the dust jacket we can find a little bit of information again on the book in three languages English, German and French. And here on the right side we can find some information on the designer of the book which is Jens Müller and also Julius Wiedemann. Now I'm just going to read this for your information. Jens Müller was born in Koblenz in Germany in 1982 and studied graphic design in Düsseldorf. Now at this point he is also a lecturer at the Peter Behren School of Arts University of Applied Sciences in Dusseldorf and Julius Wiedemann studied also graphic design along with marketing and was an art director for digital and design magazines in Tokyo. So that is a little bit of information on the people who designed and edited this book. So let me put this aside and let's take a look at the book itself. As you can see the book is completely, well the cover is completely white and I don't know if you can see it but it has the cover printed in it. So let's take a look at the first pages. As you can see again the very reddish color to start with and if we go further, we of course see the title and we get the content. So the content exists out of a little bit of introduction and then we get the logos, of course. They are divided by uh, shapes, geometric shapes. Afterwards, we have certain effects. Also, typographic logos are in the book and afterwards we get information on some interesting designers like for example Adrian Früdiger, Paul Ibu Yasuka Kamikura, Stefan Kainchev, Paul Rand and so on. What I find interesting about this book is that it starts with a little bit of explanation from where the logo or where a logo comes from. So this is a little bit of history on logo design and it's very interesting to read that but I'll just skip through it and I will show you what logos you can expect. As you can see there are a lot of logos on one spread but luckily this book is well designed and there is always enough white space around every logo although there are still a lot of logos on every spread. Every logo has the information on the company and the logo designer beneath it. It's always nice when a logo book is made in this way because when you're working with an index it's well it's just hard to always go back or uh, forth to see um, the information on the logo and the designer. So that is very good that this is done in this way. As you can see when I go through the book every logo is ordered in a certain way so it's also very good if you're looking for a certain type of logo. For example if you know I want to make a logo that exists out of arrows you can look it up and here you have 
only inspiration on logos containing arrows. Let's also take a look at the other kind of content in this book and those are case studies. For example, this logo from London Electricity Board designed by Henrian Design Associates. What is very interesting about this logo is that you see how the logo was designed on the grid that was used. So if you take a look at the application on trucks, um, envelopes and uh, letterheads, it's just very nice to see how they did it. It always gives an idea on how it looks like when the logo is applied on certain materials or certain vehicles. It's always good to do that. Also, when you're presenting your work towards a client, it's always good to present your logo in this way because that is when a logo comes alive and that your client or the people can imagine themselves if the logo works and if they are happy with it. So that was the book Logo Modernism by Jens Müller. If you would like to get a copy of this beautiful book, you can find the link in the description. And again, if you want to buy a logo book, this one is definitely the one that you're looking for. I review a lot of logo books, but this one is definitely my number one choice if I had to pick a book. So don't hesitate, go and get it. It is worth every cent. If you like these videos and you would like me to create more of them, please consider subscribing to this channel. You can do it by clicking right here. And the only thing that I want to say is thank you for watching. Keep watching and I'll see you next time.